So, a very common problem with wristwatches like this. This is a uh, Seiko Samurai, which is an excellent little automatic watch. Um, is is this? This can happen. So you be wearing your bracelet all day, and every now and again, a pin will fall out like that. So this watch has a loose pin. Um, there are various ways you can fix this, because obviously you would not want the pin to come out whilst you're wearing the watch, and the watch would fall to the ground and get broken or lost. So there are various ways you can fix it. It's quite disappointing that Seiko releases a watch from the factory with loose pins like that. But, you know, you can spend all day worrying about it, or you can fix it. So I'm going to show you how to fix it. See if that'll focus. The simplest solution is to just hammer one end of the pin so it kind of flattens out a little bit, just to make it a bit of a snug fit. All you need is a small hammer, some kind of metal surface to hammer on. I'm just using the anvil side of a vise. And you just kind of want to flatten out that pin ever so slightly, just so it makes this much more snug fit. And then we'll see how that fits in the watch bracelet. So now we've flattened out that pin, you can see that the sides of it is slightly flat. That's now going to be a very snug fit when we um, tap that pin home and hopefully it should never fall out again always make sure you flatten the side um, that you would be pushing out from the opposite side if that makes sense so you see the arrows here are indicating that we should push the pin from the near side out and you want the side that's being pushed out to be the side that has the flattened pin if it was the other way around it would just be you'd just be pushing it further in and it would get stuck so yeah, let's see how this goes. Okay, so I've just popped the pin back in, made sure it's all nice and flush. I've also done the same pin on the other side because that was a bit loose. Uh, and now, when I shake this bracelet, there is zero movement of any pins. And I always keep an eye on my pins anyway, just to make sure. They're all nice and flush now. Unlike before, where the pin would kind of walk itself free, now on both sides there is zero movement of any pins. It's a very easy fix, um, which makes me wonder why Seiko doesn't do it to begin with. However, if it does happen to you, easy fix, just take the pin out, uh, peen one end of it, pop it back in so it's a nice snug fit, and your watch will be far more secure. So, yeah, there you go.